Bolle Technology Group presents its quick and easy to use peer-to-peer -peer technology, QuickNet. This technology does away with the need to manually port forward or utilize DDNS servers. Instead, our Quick Connect DVRs automatically open ports to communicate with your router. Direct IDs are provided for each DVR. iOS and Android devices can get a free app that easily inputs these IDs by scanning a QR code found on the DVR. This extremely short process will allow you to live view your DVR footage from a mobile device within minutes. To begin, after unboxing your DVR, connect it to the power and Ethernet. On your mobile device, go to the iOS App Store or Android Play Store, then search for the Bolite DVR app. After the app is installed, open it and go to the Device Manager option. Change the login type to Device ID, then press the QR code icon and scan the QR code on the DVR. Once the code is scanned, save the setting. The app will then go to the DVR's live view. When you have one of the channels selected, which is indicated by a blue rim, you'll have access to several options, including manual recording and snapshots. Back in the main menu, you can access your DVR's remote playback, which provides you with a calendar you can navigate and lets you search by a particular channel. For other explanations and feature details, you can select the Help option, which brings you to a mobile manual. PC and Mac computers can access the feed almost just as fast. Simply install the DVR client software and input the DVR ID to begin remotely viewing your DVRs. To add a DVR to the computer surveillance client, go to the Group Device Management section. This part is opened automatically when you first use the surveillance client. From here, press Add Device and fill in the blanks. The ID is the ID found under the QR code on the DVR sticker. Once the information has been inputted, the DVR will appear on the left side under Devices. The parentheses indicate how many channels are available on the DVR. To add the DVR to the surveillance client, select the DVR and click Import All. There will be a notification on the bottom right to tell you that all the data has been imported. In the control panel, you can reach the live view by selecting main view. Camera channels can be added or changed by dragging them from the list on the left to the boxes on the right. The layout for the live view can be altered by clicking on the black box with the green outline below. The numbers indicate how many video feeds can be shown on a particular layout. Bolle Technology Group thanks you for watching. For more information, be sure to check the description box. Don't forget to subscribe to the Bolle Technology Group North America channel for more videos and updates.